Hey guys, it's Fisher Brad, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to fish St. Clair River. Now we're going to start off going for salmon, steelhead, and pretty much any species that'll hit a spoon, and then at nighttime we'll switch up for walleye. Now my buddy Bryce Stout made me these awesome rod holders. I got three. Now we're going to use three today, obviously, because three is your limit. We're going to skip two each time, and I'm going to start putting on my rod holder now. rod and reels 40 pound line you put a bead on there so you can do a drop down so you can run two lures at once you're gonna run your one lure off your three-way and then you just slide it with a weight all the way down to your bead since we're going for salmon and steelhead we're gonna be running spoons I like to keep my spoons on a pull noodle helps keep everything organized and way easier than in the tackle box all you gotta do is unhook the lure and then unwrap it we got our two pound weight on we got our one lure on to the three-way. We're gonna go cast out. Now I like to go two poles down and cast straight. Some people like to stay right by the rod holder and just throw it that way, but I just find it way easier. When you throw it the two poles down, by the time it gets to the land on the bottom, it's gonna move about right to where your actual rod holder is. So let's go cast our first one. We got a little bell too. Give us a nice indicator when we got a hit. down is also shorter than the one on the bottom on the three. Put our metal on now. Give a couple cranks, make sure it's tight. Watch it bounce once. There we go. And you're good. About eight o'clock to nine o'clock we're gonna switch up to these. They're husky jerks or Apollo. Really nice lures. We're gonna make them about, maybe having about this long of a liter and the bottom about that long of a liter. And we should get some walleye on these. Wow, you caught one. Oh yeah. What's that? Sheephead. Oh, that's a sheephead? Yep. All right, guys, just got my first fish. I was going for some <laughs> trout, but I ended up getting a sheephead. Didn't get it on video. Pole started taking off. I tried turning my GoPro and it said SD card error. So I just ended up reeling it in. It's a little guy. That fish ended up biting a daredevil spoon. Ended up biting this nice black and orange spoon. I'm gonna get back out there and see if we can get some more now. My friend Amir just showed up. He's one of my good fishing buddies. We end up going all the time together. So what do you like to run for walleye and everything? Well, tonight I'm gonna be running these guys right here, these challengers. Nice. We got them all in different sizes and shapes and colors and all that good stuff. Running them back to back or on their own? Yeah, this one's going to be piggyback. Sometimes you can run them single. Depends on how you want to run it that night. Tonight I want to try and piggyback, seeing if I can get some more results. You're going to do a smaller one in the back or are you doing the same size? Yeah, a smaller one, bigger one in the front, a smaller one in the back. Right. You don't want to do a vice versa because it don't work that way. <laughs> one thing you guys got to look out for when you're fishing out here is you got to watch out for a lot of people. Sometimes when you're casting those two pound weights, if you don't pay attention, a person could walk by, you smack them in the face, or if someone's riding a bike, they'll just come by out of nowhere. So you guys got to keep your eye out for them. I like to pick a nice spot with a bench. Got a nice bench here. There's tons of benches all around this river. It makes it super easy. Just come out here with some ice water, some pop, some snacks. 
you know, watch your poles or just play on your phone and just watch for the fish to bite. Another tip I have is you don't really want to switch out too much doing this. You kind of want to just to sit there. It might take a little while to bite, but I got that one fish in about maybe 30 minutes or so. Even just don't move it at all. Just let it sit there. Let the fish come by, the keep coming by in schools and everything. I at least wait at least 30 minutes before I switch out lures. This kind of fish, and you just want the lure to sit there. I throw, like I said, I throw spoons out during the daytime. You know, I don't mix it up. Sometimes you can put body baits. You might get lucky. You might get a walleye here or there. But during the daytime, spoons work really well for me. Body baits at nighttime. I mean, I've even had them hit spoons at nighttime too. Another great tip is to have a net with you. I got a nice expendable net. Now it is. This thing right here, it's a super long net, you can get all the way to the bottom. Now with a small walleye, you can always flip it over, but you gotta be really careful, you gotta watch out for people. You don't wanna flip that walleye, hook someone flipping it over, or even hitting someone with that giant two pound weight can really do some damage. So if you got a big fish, definitely have someone net it for you where it's just a little one, just flip it right on over the wall. If you get a steelhead or anything like that, you wanna make sure you gill it. It'll get all the blood out, it'll keep the eggs fresh too. It doesn't make the eggs get all hard and everything. Also, if you keep it alive down there, it can really get some full force going and it can actually get right off your strainer, unbend it completely and get off. Some guys run fluorocarbon down here, but I'm just running basic 20 pound line. It's really nice. It's low vis line, so. It's about a little green tint color, but that's what I'll be running today. All my lures are rigged up for that I want to run at nighttime. I do this all beforehand so it's easy to switch out. I just take the bell off and then reel them all in and then throw on the different ones and cast them right back on out. I hooked up this nice challenger. I feel like it's going to be really lucky tonight. Before you throw out these body baits, you want to make sure the longer one is always on bottom, as well as always the bigger lure. You always want that, like Amir said, on the bottom. You don't want that to be on the top with the bigger lure. It's just not really going to work out too well. All right, guys. I know Brad went over a few tips and tricks about out here. Um, I'll touch up on a few more. So my rods are the green ones right there. They're pretty bright, easy to see. You know, you got to know which one's going off so you know which one has the fish on. We got, you know, three poles each, two lures on each one, um, which in every state it varies. So these are Michigan laws. Um, we got bells, let you know when you got a hit. You got lights on there at nighttime so you can see which rod's going off. You can also have different bells for different rods. That way you know if it's the far one or the near one, middle one. Um, and then when you cast it out there, you want to set your drag. Because if a big fish comes around and takes your line, it's going to break it off. So you just loosen it just a little bit. That way it's, you know, it's peeling line versus breaking off line. Here at the Sickland River, um, the walleye minimum limit, size limit, is 13. And you're allowed six of them. And luckily here, on these light posts, we have measuring tapes. Where we can just hold the fish up and then, you know, we can see what it is. If that's not available to you, I suggest you bring a tape measure. Oh, another one went off? Get the first. Thank you. Go ahead and I'll, I'll get it. All right, guys, got my first one. I actually had two on at the same time. They both hit instantaneously. That one had a fire tiger hit, and this one was my nice silver one. This one was 17 inches. That one was at least 20 I had on. Went to throw it over the wall, but it flopped off as soon as I lifted it up. Yep, I got one still. So. Oh, yep, I do. Oh, I got it. So, okay.
flopped over. I think it's gone. Oh no, it's still on. Woo! Line fish. See what lure this one hit, but that was a little fun. Right? Well, we gotta go get video equipment and catch fish. Yeah. We'll just 16 call it, inches. We'll call it beginner's luck. Yeah. Call it whatever you want, he's catching fish. Yeah. <laughs> Got stuck on the wall. I tried to flip it because it was taking a little while, but this one actually hit the Challenger. I think I'm in the lucky spot today because about well, everyone else only got one or two fish and I've had tons of hits. So I'm really happy with my location I chose. There we go. Nice one. It's a nice one. Probably about 18 or so. All right, guys, as you could tell, I had a really awesome day on the river. Got a lot of nice walleye, but uh, all in all, it was a great time out. I missed a couple hits, had one up all the way to the wall, and ended up dropping off. But just keep with it, guys. Like, I barely ever come out here. This is August, but we still had tons of fun. I had a really nice spot. My buddy ended up not getting any, but the guy next to me got two, the one guy down there got two, and I had about maybe seven definite hits on I tried running out didn't get them all right guys if you like this video I'd really appreciate you giving the, the video a like comment and subscribe have a great day guys